Hi family and welcome to my video. Well, it's been a long time since I've done like a um, face mask review, so I thought it's time to do so. So today I'm going to try the new Revolution Purifying Peel of Mask. And this is a mask, or I think it's a mask, that will remove the blackheads. So these here guys that I have. And this is with peppermint and pe with peppermint extract oil. Helps to reduce the look of pores. I think or I expect this product to be like those nose strips that you put and then you remove it after 15-20 minutes. I wish it is like that because those pore strips, I think I pronounced that right, those cost a lot and I buy them all the, all the time because I have many blackheads that I need to remove and pores or clogged pores. So I think it's like this. This is vegan, cruelty free. I do not know. This is just something I guess that it's like uh, wet that I can put on, let it dry, and it's be going to be like a pore strip. So oh, hopefully it's like that. If you're interested to find out more about this product and if it really works, then please keep on watching. So this is cheaper and uh, it will definitely cost less than those nose strips. So I have pores here, here and here that I want to remove. I have one big one um, that I need to get rid of. So let's open the package. I haven't even opened it. It looks like this. Very nicely packaging, cruelty free, vegan. Sounds good. So let's try it. Doesn't smell good, but let's see. Oh, it's see-through. And it smells like glue. It smells like glue. Ooh, okay, doesn't smell good, but let's try it. Um, I'm going to take this. And it feels like glue. Smells like glue and feels like glue. It says that you need to apply a thin layer. So we are going to apply a thin layer there. We're going to apply a well, it really looks like glue. And I can see. Yeah. It smells so bad. I don't know how much. I feel like if you put a too thin layer, it won't pick up anything. But this is maybe not like a nose strip. Maybe, maybe not. So let's see. I really hope it is. So this is typical. My camera died just when I was applying this on the face, but I applied it on the T-zone and I can definitely, I did apply it a little bit heavier here just to see how that will work. And it's now 11, 19. So I'm going to have it for, I don't know, it needs to dry down. It's a little bit thinner layer here, a little bit thicker layer here. And and definitely take a layer down here so I can see how it works, how much I can apply. It's definitely minty. So it's giving me a very strong cooling sensation. That sounds like a commercial. Cooling feeling. It feels... You know when you take an ice cube and put it on the face, that is how it feels. Uh, it's not too bad, but I... Uh, uh, I can definitely feel it. I can't see it though on my face, though it's just shiny, so I would prefer it if there is any color in it, so you can see where you can peel it off, but maybe it will work. Uh, and see it where the rest of it is on the face, but maybe it works. This will definitely um, last me longer than the strips, so I hope it will remove some of my uh, blackheads. If it doesn't, then it's... I won't say worthless. It's going to be a disappointment for me because I expect this to clean my pores. But if it doesn't, if it just is something that is going to kind of um, other pore mask, then I have many pore masks. I don't definitely, maybe not going to use this uh, as much as I wish I can because it's not too expensive. I will put information down below and here on the screen so you can see how much it costs. I forgot because it's been a while since I ordered it, but it's pore refining peel so it should definitely pick up something 
This is not for the whole face, so don't use it all over the face. You use it on small areas. Uh, this is definitely not small, but it's something I need. So, uh, And we'll just wait for, it says five to 10 minutes, but I'll wait and or wait until it's dry. Uh, definitely getting dry here a little bit. Some parts are still wet on the forehead, uh, but this is totally wet. So we need to wait and I'll be back in a couple of, couple of minutes. So it's been exactly 10 minutes and it's, and it has dried down, but some of the, the mask did dry down on my finger and it's so thin that I don't think it's going to pick up the pores from the face, but it feels like it's just a mask. So let's take this off and see. Yeah, it's just a mask. It didn't remove anything. It's easy to remove, but it didn't pick up anything. And uh, maybe this will be good off the cleansing pores. But I don't know, let's see, this is, let's take forehead, it's thicker, the, on the chin was very thin, then it was a little bit thicker on the forehead. Something, well this did pick up, this one did, not too much, but it did pick up something. Uh, so that's not bad, not satisfying though. And let's take this thickest part. So easy to remove on the forehand and chin. Let's see how it looks on the Well, no. No, it didn't pick up anything. Uh, so it's not like strips, definitely. But it's, I can see maybe this being good after you cleanse the pores. I'm kind of disappointed because I can't see a big difference what it did to me. Some of them look smaller, but it didn't clean them as I wished, you know take everything out so continue to buying strips uh, I'll, I'll continue trying this and tell you in another video later what i really feel about it i'll try to clean the pores and apply this and continue using it <clears throat> maybe two three times a week and maybe i'll see a big difference on my pores but it's not what i thought it would be it's not like those stripping pores where you just remove everything so it's a little bit disappointing but I don't I don't know so I'm going to re I did try to touch them a little bit so I'm going to read what it says on the website about this um, uh, mask pour uh, pours your problem meet a pore refining peel a, sh j a clear gel mask that helps draw out excess oil and impurities for healthy looking skin Formulated with peppermint extract, sage extract, and turmeric root extract. This peel works to reduce the look of pores. How to use? Apply a thin layer on to T-zone or problem areas. Leave on for 5-10 minutes or until product has completely dried. P gently peel off, resting off with an any residue. This product is recommended for use on small target areas and not all over the face. C c caution, this discontinue of irritation occurs. Keep out of eyes for external uh, use only. Keep away from eyebrows and hairlines. This product may cause redness. Do not use with other peel products. So, uh, it didn't cause much redness on my face though. If you know a mask that will work like that, let me know down below. Uh, I hope you like this video. Please uh, leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.